Welcome back to this Guild Wars Let's Play, your Sambo, and joining us as always is Seraphis Heals a Lot, our ridiculously named but prettily blue coloured super healer, because she is a super duper healer that Reggie would never be able to survive without. And of course, standing at Stiff Stark oh. attention there, <laughs> paying attention to Sambo as always, because that's what she's born to do, is the wonderful Regina Lacerda. How are you this evening, Reggie? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. How are you, Sambo? That's all right. Nice of you to be paying your respects to me there, <clears throat> as I deserve. How do you stand up in this yeah, game? Yeah, look at she's lolling around, though. Just yeah. hit her direction. Oh, 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 good, good Lord. On my screen, it looked like I tripped over then. Goodness gracious me. Well, you could also type in stand, but it's more fun watching you trip. <laughs> you, you did that deliberately. Oh, I've got a bruise on my <laughs> knee now. Thanks a lot. Oh, dear. Of course. Good Match Lord. Match the one on your elbow. Now, listen, I'm going to rip straight into this. I've got a complaint to make to you because I, I we've got this lovely delicatessen uh, in the basement of our building at work, right? And they make great hot chocolates and coffees there. And I happen to notice that they also make tea. So what do you think I did today when I walked in there? I went up to him and I said, oh, a good friend of mine... So, of course, I was lying already. A good friend of mine um, told me about this wonderful tea. Uh, and I was wondering if you have it. And he goes, oh, yeah, look, we have every kind of tea that there possibly is. So, yeah, we'll definitely have it. I'm like, oh, goody, goody, goody. Because I really feel like some, because, of course, it's Monday. Don't like, nobody likes Mondays. And I said, I would like a cup of Melbourne breakfast tea, please. And he looked at me like I was a moron. And I said, you don't know what that is, do you? And he goes, Melbourne breakfast tea, what's that? And I said, my friend told me that it's tea with vanilla in it. And I mean, this is Melbourne, so you should know what Melbourne breakfast tea is. And he goes, look, with all due respect to your friend, I've never heard it in my life. Are you sure she knows what she's talking about? And I said, you know what? She probably set me up. <laughs> so is no, there... Okay, I didn't tell you just to go into any random cafe and order a, a, a tea when they've got, you know, what... Um, English breakfast, Darjeeling and Earl Grey, and they think that's a fantastic range. <laughs> Actually, it probably You've got is to go... true. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to go to T2. Oh, oh no, we're which advertising. Which I'm sure our viewers are sitting there going, oh, yeah, no. I'm sure our viewers are going, no, we've all been told where to go. And you have to actually buy this thing called uh, loose leaf or loose leaf tea in a bag and brew it yourself. You have to actually like, you oh, know, ugh. wait, you mean do I have to your cook? own stuff, not have your minions make this for you. I have to cook. I'm not cooking. I do not cook. Oh, making a cup of tea is not cooking. It is so. You have to put ingredients together and like turn on a stove or a or a pot or something. I'm not cooking. I haven't cooked in like years. Well, that's that out of the question oh, then. Gosh. Sam, but you're such a worry. <laughs> well, I just really want a vanilla tea because vanilla is my favourite. You got me all excited and then I was just so bitterly disappointed. It's like you burst my little bubble. And then I thought, oh gosh, you're you're just setting me up. Oh, but maybe maybe you are. No, all I'm, right. not, I'm, not, I'm not setting you up. It, it does exist, but you need to, you know, actually be a bit proactive here, Sambo. <laughs> oh, God. All right, well, that rules that one out then, doesn't it? Look at her, she's like, sigh. <laughs> Thanks very much for that. Well, that'll do about the tea for now. Then let's have a look at our quest log here. Uh, I think we were looking through it before, and we've got a couple of things that we can do which are close to each other. Uh, where are we? Oh, here we are. Now, Vanguard Equipment. I know we've both got this one. Deliver the Vanguard Equipment to Captain Arn in Ascalon City. And, of course, if we have a look at in our inventory we can see that we have got Vanguard equipment in there, and that's because we did that leg of the quest in our last episode. And I do believe the hand in is, yeah, there it is, down in Ascalon City. Are you, my fair lady, able to uh, map travel us to Ascalon City so we could hand this one in? And uh, Oh, I suppose I can do that. Oh, you know, we, um, look, Reggie, you know, you actually have to be a little bit proactive about these things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of deserve that one. <laughs> <laughs> you did. <laughs> Can you cook us up some map travel, please? Some Melbourne English breakfast travel would be nice. There we go. Thank you very much for that. All right, so I'm just going to head towards the asterisk on my mini map. And uh, I'm look, uh, you, one thing you can say about me, I may know how to cook, but it doesn't mean that I have to do it. Oh, okay. You may know how, but it doesn't mean it happens. Is that what you're saying? 
<laughs> well, wait, is, isn't cooking going through the, going, you know, getting in the car and driving up to a window? Um, oh gosh, that sounds like too much hard work. I pick up the telephone when I cook. But anyway, there we go. 500 <laughs> XP and a flame, uh, what do we get? A flame artifact. So lots of goodies there. Lovely jubbly. Now I have a couple of quests that are nearby. Uh, and I don't think you've got them because they're probably class specific quests, but I've got one Okay, well run them by me. Okay, well one is called trying times and I have to find and no. retrieve Mossy rock from a cave near the ruins of Ashford Abbey and of course that's now called um, Sardalac sanitarium as we know So you don't have that one. Okay, um, there's also one called sowing seeds and that's over no, exactly I haven't the same got that one. Oh, okay. Well, if we can head over there as well, because there's an escort we have to bring back here. So I think, if you don't mind, are you able to map travel us now to the old Ashford Abbey? And that would be fantastic. I'd say it's probably closer for us to get these quests from there. And of course, that happens sometimes, folks. If you're um, playing with another friend of yours in your different classes, quite often you'll get quests that are class specific um, or they could be uh, deity specific in our case, maybe, which means you kind of have to help well, each there other was, out. There uh, was uh, not long ago where I had a couple of ranger quests that, yeah, you know, I sort of took you along for the ride with me. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, there's no problem in it because, of course, we still both share the XP and everything. It just means one of us is running a little bit blind, I guess. All right, so let's see. I'm going to have a look at which one's closer. That's sowing seeds. Let's have a look at trying time. Oh. All Necromancer right. Muns have just waved at me and run in a direction. Oh, so you must have a quest out here, excuse me, as well. Oh, yeah, I see her running off there. Oh, well, that'll happen again, okay, no well, doubt. Which direction do we have to go? Okay, we're heading off. I'm going to draw it. It's over that way there. I'm going to ping it on the map. And you can, of course, don't forget, folks, that you can draw on the Guild Wars mini map. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to get there. I'm going to assume it's around this way, but I could be totally wrong. But, uh, no, running through this town is not what it used to be. No, look at them. Yeah, there's blooming Grawl everywhere. Oh dear, well it's kind of up there. I've just pinged it on the map again. It's up the top there. So there we go. Okay, and we'll just dispose of these little guys here. Yeah, just like last time. Oh, now by the way, there's a healer over there. I've just called him out. Like ah. last time, folks, you might remember in our last episode, gosh, we're just trying to run from one place to another, oh, and we, we get totally... get anywhere. No, I know, just get completely swamped by mobs, so we've made a vow that we're going to try and map travel as much as possible, and believe you me, that doesn't mean that we're going to miss out on any combat, because there's plenty of mobs um, outside of the towns, etc., so definitely make use of the map travel, I say, because otherwise you're going to be stuck forever just trying to get anywhere. All right, let's give Reggie a bit of a heal. Right, so we're basically heading due east, according to my map. I'm not sure due if we east. can cross here I or not. I can do that. All right. Oh, there he is. He's over there. It's that guy over there, I think. I'm not sure. That it's guy over there. Sorry, over oh, here. Oh, over this way? Yep, Beautiful. my bad. <laughs> yes, because um, I can see where you're pointing. Yeah, sorry about that. Actually, you know what? It might not be this um, escort farmer. We're looking for farmer. Oh, there he is. Right, there we go. That's the one we want. I have my fields going just again. Uh, again, just you wait and see. Now, hopefully, he will come with us. Oh, is he going to run off on his own? He is. He's running off on his own. Well, I'll just follow him. Yeah, because he's going to take us back, gosh, to Escalon City. That's a long run. That is a really long run. Um, there actually looks to be a lot of red pits oh, coming up on the map here. Gosh, yeah, look at that. There's like one, two, three, four, six, seven, about nine of them. Oh, what? Oh, are they're they? different. These what are, are they? new. They're, they're skeletons. They're undead. Whoa, okay, so I guess they've been summoned by the quest. But, oh, look at that. Thankfully, oh, they actually they, they die quite they quickly. Look like they're immune to my necromancer skills. Oh, which, you it know says what? that I can't use any bleeding skills on them. And, of course, that makes uh, <clears throat> total sense because, of course, they're undead. They've got no blood. They're skeletons. And that's quite a common theme in most MMOs, of course. Uh, and, no, I'm not just talking about WoW, but anything like um, Dungeons and Dragons, I know. You can't bleed the undead. And, of course, in WoW. Um, oh, actually, in uh -oh. WoW, you can. If they're play oh, we've look lost out. our farmer. Uh oh. Does that mean I failed the quest? Probably does, doesn't it? Well, it hasn't come well, up as failed. Well, checking your quest log has it said that um, no, it, just well, it says... won't come up as failed because you can always retry. Oh. 
Well, it actually just still says to escort him, so I don't know, maybe I have to go back. Maybe you have to go out of the instance and back into it, I think. Is that how it works? I think. I think that might be what we have to do. All right, in that case, we'll pick up the other quest that I have. That's a bummer. Well, well I've actually had a quest update. I just had a quest update for Death in the Ruins. Oh, well, I don't have that one, but uh, that's good. I guess that maybe, oh, maybe, maybe your skeletons are, maybe the skeletons are from your quest. Maybe we've got a combo of three ah. going on here. Maybe we've got my escort. It could be. I've got, I'm yeah, just looking, I've got four out of six uh, over a minion slain, so I have to... Oh. Yeah, kill these guys. So it is yours. So it's a combination of your quest, my farmer, and yeah. a random attack of Grawl. That's nasty, isn't it? Talk about the odds that up against is. us. Gosh. Alright, come on. Die, damn you. Wow, I'm just I'm so yeah, glad we map traveled. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, if I get this minion, and I've hey, got to find one more... Do you know what? I've just realised... they won't respawn. But do you know what I've realised? I don't know, if, do you recognise that name? Because I certainly do. You ever think about it? Oberon's Minions. Does that ring any bells for you? Oh! Help me, Oberon. You're well You're my done. only hope. That's right. So, but if you remember, that was pre-searing, and... I'm pretty sure that Oberon that was. was friendly back then. Do you think maybe something's happened and he he's was, turned against he us? He was in the catacombs. That's right. And, um, yeah, it was a necromancer uh, quest, yeah. I believe. But he was helping us. So if they're his minions and they're attacking you, you know what I reckon? I reckon he's turned he's turned against you. I, I, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly hop, hop back here and see if... I'm just going to see if our man is over here. Oh, look, they're being attacked over here. Oh, good lord. This is terrible. Oh, I have a feeling that we might need to go. Oh, is so, so with the farmer back here? No, well, there's no, no farmer, just... but they're attacking the other NPC that was here now. Talk about nasty. Is they just go for anyone they I feel know. like. And is he being healed as well? Oh, he is! But is that himself or is there a mob around that we can't see? Hang on, there's one up there. I wonder if he's being healed. Oh, he is. There's a there's an Udalite over here. Oh, good lord, this is horrible. <laughs> I'm going to go around the back. I have to go up the top and take him out. Wow. Talk about nasty. Look at that. He's up the top there healing. Whoa, that's rough. Yeah, well, I have to run around as well because I can't uh, yeah. shoot arrows no, I couldn't. up a cliff. I couldn't either. Oh, oh, I've nearly like got you're, him. You're actually doing pretty good on him. Yeah. Oh, we got him. Got him. Well done. All right, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch to my other quest because we've messed that one up, I'd imagine. Now, I can see where it is. Yeah. I think we have to go round the long way, so if you don't mind following, I'm just going to take a punt here. Um, sure. I don't think we can get straight there. I think we have to go round behind this crystal. Oh, look, there's a Gwen's Broken Flute as well. Look at that. Ah! Goodness gracious, look how many there are. I think, hadn't we already picked up a Gwen's Broken Flute? Yeah, you, you picked one up yes. in the last episode. Because I've so. got one, yeah, I've got one in my inventory. Oh, I'll pick this one up. Maybe it's for a quest later on or something. Yeah, possibly. Alright, oh. oh. got the healer. It's always good. Take out the healers and the other will, others will fall. Yep, and I think the mobs have the same idea, by the way. Because <laughs> they're beating <laughs> up on me now. <laughs> My god! Well, like they say, uh, good minds think alike. Yeah, gosh. 
or is your dumb ones don't differ? <laughs> Something like that. In my case, I think it's the latter. Wow, this is <laughs> nasty. Oh, well, we're actually making a dent, though, which is great. Yes, we are making a bit of progress. Wow, talk about a nightmare, God. Hmm, that was quite insane, that, uh, this bit. Yep. Wow, look at this. Doesn't it look amazing with the cinders here on the ground? Wow, so awesome. All right, now, pretty I know, it's like the attack on the city has only just happened. Yeah. Or maybe we've actually walked into it at the, like, to just sort of ended. Possibly. And still, well, there's still um, people, yeah, fighting. Yeah, I guess so. I like the details on these gargoyles. Have you ever been zoomed right into on their faces? No. Oh, oh wow. you'll have to zoom in right on the gargoyle's face. The oh. detail in their in their facial expressions is Whoa. incredible. Yeah, I hadn't noticed that before. Wow. Yeah, it's okay, definitely so an amazing going? looking game. Now I'm pretty sure it's gonna be around up here, but I'm just looking at my map. Oh, I don't know if the road goes there to be honest. I Oh I don't know. I don't think so, actually. I'm just going to have a quick sneak around there. Because it's actually over... Wait, my which quest way is do over, we have to go? quest is over there. It's that way. Oh. All right, let's go around this way first. Because I thought we'd have to go around these crystals. But it looks like the road actually goes away from them. But um, it looks like the quest is up high. What do I have to do? Hang on. I'll find and retrieve... Well, you, oh, it's You know in what a, I found? It's this in a is, cave, by the way. This is... Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah! Well, I... There's a boss. Is that what you found? <laughs> oh! Um, no, I was actually going to say is um, I've actually been touristing around um, with my uh, uh, pre- and post series characters, sort of taking photos, sort of um, and comparing the two. Oh, yes. Um, like in the same place, standing in the same position, but yeah, sort of seeing what they each look like. And I found that there are um, places in pre series that I can't see how to access in post series, and um, Baroness Estate is actually one of them. Oh, so you can't actually get into Baroness Estate? That's interesting. I can't figure out how to get to Baroness If you can, I can't figure out how to get in there. Well, yeah, very interesting. Hey! Oh, I thought he rezzed himself. We've got a healer going on, yeah. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. This is rough stuff, isn't it? Gosh. Yeah, and another place that I tried to. Uh, find how to get into was Foible's Fair. And oh yes, yep. Again, I couldn't figure out how to get into that that area just to see if it was even still there. Yeah, interesting. So they. Oh, I wonder if. So and when you say you can't get in, is that because the the landscape is preventing it now, or? Yeah, there's you know so much um, damage done to the landscape, like the crystals are sort of actually ripped the the earth up that wow. you can't get around. Wow. Gosh, it's amazing, isn't it? So those places are like a one-off, basically. Yeah, well, it's funny because we've previously spoken about how, um, you know, each time they're, they're, they've put so much detail doing the pre and the post and making things the same. Yep, there's and a boss. And yet too, there oh. are some things that are only post. Right, right. Uh, pre and pre. But yeah, I guess it would go both ways, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, definitely. There's far more uh, things that are just in post than pre, but there are some things that are solely in pre. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the boss is being interesting. healed again by this horrible healer over here, so I've corrupt the new oh, light again. Take out him then. Yeah, wow. And he's healing himself as well. Gosh. Oh, how inconsiderate of him. Yeah. <laughs> get him, kitty. Go, go. Hello, kitty. Yay. Mm. 
Now, it's interesting, last episode you were saying that all the drops seem to be just for me. You seem to be getting the majority of the I drops know. this time round. It seems to have cycled around. Now, where's that yeah. boss gone? Ah, and you know what? I think I've found just the cave here. entrance over here as well, by the way. Ah, that's always positive. Yeah, because I, I'm thinking, how on earth do we get up there? I thought maybe it was up the top. Uh, but then I read the quest text, which of course, folks, it pays to do from time to time. And it talked about a cave. So that's when I thought, oh, actually, it's probably underneath this mountain. So definitely pay to have a wander around. Ah, and can't go over it. Can't go around it. Have to go through it. That's the one. All right. Finally, we're done. Let's head into cave. You know what? I always love adventuring into a good old cave or a dungeon. Always fun. All right, now what do we have to do? Oh, there's a named mob in there. What we have to do is find and retrieve a mossy rock from the cave in here. So that's what we're doing. A mossy rock. Yep. Okay, we'll take this guy out first. Yep, got a big boss in the cave, which makes sense. What, having a boss in the cave? Yeah. Is that where your boss normally here hides? <laughs> yeah, in his cave, yeah, definitely. My boss has an office. <laughs> Oh, office, cave, same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I must admit, I do love dungeon crawling though. Something about it. Oh, wait a minute. Mossy rock. There we go. And it's... Yeah, I thought I'd just stand here and see if you noticed it. The big green glowy thing. Um, now, what do I have to do? Yeah. Return oh, no, to Vassa. You run straight past it. All right, well, I have to return to Sardlac Sanitarium. You know what? We might as well resign or map travel there or something because I failed my other quest. Um, unless you've got anything nearby. I've already typed resign in. All right, no worries. Let's do that. And... Uh. <laughs> I still, still can never get used to that, seriously. <laughs> it's so funny. It's just the most bizarre concept <laughs> ever. Oh. All right, who am I looking for? I am looking for Return to Vassa. Um, where's Vassa? Oh, right next to me. Hello. And it looks like, oh, yes. Oh, I've got a quest hand in here as well. Oh, maybe it was Oberon stuff. Ah. I've, these are definitely yeah, class it was, quests, though. it was though. those minions. Um, ah, good. Yeah. yeah, because I'm being offered skills here, and these are actually mesmer skills now i'm just wondering if i might take one of these actually i've been offered a necromancer skill ah well i've got one called chaos storm it actually sounds really good create a chaos storm at target foe's location that lasts 10 seconds each second foes adjacent to this location. oh it's an aoe you know what i'm going to take it over my um enchantment that i've got here so i'm going to equip that now that's actually going to be quite handy and Mantra of Flame, it's a stance for 30 seconds whenever you take fire damage. No, I'm going to equip that one later. And my person's actually got another quest for me as well. So is mine. Alright. A cure for Relina. Uh, I need someone to take it to Master Ranger Nente. He can be found wandering what used to be called Green Hills County. Oh, that's up to the um, east. Oh, actually, that's on the way to Baradin's estate, actually. Funnily enough, you should... Uh, be talking about that earlier oh all right look for to finish off would you like to try the escort one more time perhaps if um if we head over to where was he well oh, it's up to you would you like to try that he one again just through yeah we can give that one another try give it one more go see what hopefully happens. those um those Ober and minions yeah, aren't there anymore appear. yeah because you've handed it in which would make sense and then, of course, we'll owe Reggie a favour because we'll, we'll do one of her ranger quests uh, in a future episode. All right, so I'm heading... Um, I don't know where I'm heading. Oh, I think it's Ooh, down this way, actually. I'm going to go down this way, yep, because there looks like there be a lot of red pips running yeah. towards us. Oh, the minions! The minions are back! I thought you'd handed that in. It's interesting. I did hand it in. It did give me another quest, though. Let me just have a look at what that other quest was. Yeah, no worries. Okay, it actually is, says, Slay Oberon the Reviled. Oh, wow, we have to kill him now. That's so we have to slay Oberon. Yeah, because he was helping last okay, time. Okay, I'm going to turn and fight whoever these people are behind us. Grawl. Yeah. 
Well, it says our plan seems to have worked. My spies inform me that Oberon is heading here even now to seek revenge on the one who slayed his minions. Oh, so that's like oh, updated. That's always... <laughs> yep, he's seeking revenge. Yeah. He's not going to be happy. No, it's a con the, the continuing story. Yep. Yeah, hopefully if we take out these rules behind us, then there's not as many to kill the farmer later. Yeah, good point. Very good point. I'm trying, out my, last words. trying out my uh, Chaos Storm there. Not sure if it's doing much damage or not, but... No, we seem to be doing okay. You can see that's it looks the pretty. bubbles. Yeah, all the bubbles on the ground. Everyone likes bubbles. All oh, right. and there's a Grawl attacking your farmer over here. Oh, what? You're kidding. Oh, good no, lord. I'm not. Mind you, the, the healer guy is just standing there doing nothing, putting his hands <laughs> in his pockets and yeah. not helping out at all. He's meant to be a healer, for goodness sake. Oh, now he's helping. That's only because he was getting attacked. Yes. Charming. Putting his head in the sand, ignoring this, what was going on. Yep. And look, there's a Gwen's broken flute over there as well. I can see that. Alright, come on, you're coming with us. You coming? No, I think he's ignoring you. Have you clicked on him? Escort Farmer Hammett. Stop wagging your tongue and start whooping some butt. Maybe I have, <laughs> but maybe... That's what he said to me. Maybe what we have to do is kill... Not now. Okay, there's a Grawl Oodalite up there. Oh, and the view's obstructed. I'm guessing we have to kill that off before he'll run away with us. Ah, uh, he's being so picky. So you're able to attack him from down there, are you? No, no, I'm running up. Oh, I'm caught in a tree, actually. Few more growl, um, yeah, coming towards us as well. Well, how about I have a play with these growl here, and you go down and speak to your farmer again and see if he'll oh, okay. see if he'll start moving. Well, I just attacked one silly me, but yeah, that's a really good idea. <clears throat> well, if I keep them entertained, they might uh, lay off the farmer. Yep, good idea. Oh, but now they're all running away. Oh. Oh, well, fine. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see if this guy will talk to us finally. Yep, there we go. I can hear the quest is updated. Uh, and let's go. Come on, farmer. What's your name? All right, maybe this time we'll make it. Now, by the way, the um, we have another quest that we needed to hand in. Well... My mossy, my mossy stone. Um, I'm trying to find where it is because what did I? Ha oh, that's weird. I handed that one in. I'm sure I did. Oh, he's going this way for some reason. I thought you did. Yeah, and uh, but I still actually have it in my bags, a mossy rock. Mind you, now you might be able to help me here. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but. Uh, sometimes I think you do get quest items left in your bags even after the quest is finished. Is that right? I'm pretty sure it is. I think, well, I remember the devour eggs. You only needed one devour egg to hand it to finish the quest, yet you got given two. Right. And that other so one remained in your you bag, didn't it? Up. Yeah. Until oh. you just dropped it or put it in the bin. Alright, well I'll hang on to it for a while in case I'm uh, blind. I'm pretty sure we've already done that and I don't need it. Gosh, I wonder if I can heal Farmer Hammett. It doesn't appear in the party list, but let's give it a go. No. Yep, if you directly target him, you can. Alright, that's at least handy. Yeah, you can. Didn't well, realise that. Good, Sorry, I would have saved him last time. 
Oh, well, live and learn. That's what this is all about, isn't yep. it? Oh, and he's already picked up a couple of... You know, this is going to take forever <laughs> to get there. He keeps he keeps annoying mobs. We're not even halfway there. Good lord. It's certainly making us work for our money today. Alright, let's give him a Tell heal. Him run off after some brawl. Oh, dear. Come and help you instead. Now it's funny, my um, uh, asterisk for Oberon's, what was it, Oberon's Revenge? Oberon's yeah. Rage, actually looks like it's only just behind us, but I can't see what it is, so. Oh, and that's where yeah. Oberon it is himself, I have to... is it, I, I guess? Well, yeah, it says, it says that I don't have to tell you that it is both our best interest that you slay Oberon. Hmm. Well, I mean, it makes sense that he's around here, of course, because we're kind of near the old Ashford Abbey, and he was down in the catacombs, so I suppose he's hanging around yeah. a bit. Mm. Alright, let's give Farmer Hamnet a bit of a heal. Because if we failed the quest now, that would be very frustrating. Oh, yes. No, I wouldn't want to fail the quest now. <laughs> no. Right, got rid of them. And you know what, you're right. Ooh, he just did a little flashy thing. I know, I, I saw that. What he that was. healed himself or something. Very interesting. Ah! He is, he is, picking, he is targeting on them. Yeah. But if you can zoom in while you're fighting, zoom in on this gargoyle's face. Oh, he died oh, already. He died. <laughs> now, now, are you a, are you a Doctor Who fan? Oh, am I ever? Am I ever? I love it. Okay. Well, my the well, I'll gargoyle's say, face. You, yeah. you may, <laughs> you may, you may get the, the gargoyle's face reminds me of the angel statue's faces. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Because when we zoomed in on them uh, before mm. when he was dead, you still see the face. It looks amazing. Yeah, that's a good pick up there, actually. But speaking of Doctor Who, mm. and uh, because, of course, we always end up yeah. talking about some kind of nerdy thing uh, on our episode. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I remember the original Doctor Who's with John Pertwee and Tom Baker, uh, all those old school ones. But of recent oh, times... Oh, yes, no, I'm, I'm not old enough to know all them, no, absolutely. <clears throat> right, <clears throat> yeah. Anyhow, none of them still, <laughs> even though they're classic, and some some Doctor Who fans might um, disown me for this, but you know what, my favourite Doctor Who of all time now is actually one of the more recent ones, and that's um, David Tennant. I absolutely oh, loved him as Doctor Who. I, I think he's love the, him. Oh, isn't he the yes. best Doctor Who ever? Seriously. Uh, he, he, yes, no, I do agree. He definitely um, was a very nice doctor to watch. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, I hate to say this, but I've just... Oh, look at that! i got a vial of orange dye. Um, where is... Oh, wow. Where's our farmer? Oh. Did we lose did him? Did you let him die again? You did! He was back up where those, all those, um... The, the gargoyles and the, the, the devourers are attacking us. You're kidding. He hasn't well, run ahead, has he? Well, let's see if we he? can resurrect him. Oh. No, no, he's, he's... I can see his corpse. Oh, really? Wait a minute. I could see his corpse a minute ago. Oh, don't tell me it despawned. Oh, that's horrible. I think it might have... Oh, no. Oh, dear. Ah, well, Ooh. we've run way out of time. Looks like we're going to have to give that one a third attempt in another episode. That's proving to be a real challenge for us, isn't That's it? That's hopeless. I know. Gosh, but do you know what? I really want to, just out of spite now, um, I just want to get revenge on these horrible Grawl and actually finish it off just to prove that we can actually do it because that's terrible. Gosh, goodness me. Oh, well, there we go. That Them's the breaks, I guess. <clears throat> 
Anyhow, that's it for us, folks. We've gone way over time, as always. So I certainly hope you enjoyed that episode of us failing miserably twice. Was that twice in a row for that escort, or three times? I can't remember. I lost count. Twice in a row. Oh, twice in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are yabbering against, uh, yabbering about rather, um, Doctor Who and David Tennant. I completely forgot to watch The Farmer. We'll blame Doctor Who on that, shall we? <laughs> Yes, yes, we'll blame David Tennant for that you one. blame Dave, David Tennant. But he was easily the best doctor. I'm glad we agree on something there. But anyway, enough jibber-jabber from us. Time for us to go, folks. Um, I certainly hope you enjoyed that episode. Of course, I certainly hope you join us in the next one, where goodness knows what mischief we're going to get up to. Maybe we'll even run that mission we keep promising in Fort Rannick, Reggie. We've definitely got to do that one before we get too, <laughs> too big for we it. We do. Um, and we'll see if you get to yeah. save the day once again, of course. Anyhow, folks, uh, thank you very much. And, of course, to you too, Reggie. Thanks for joining us once again. And uh, like I said at the beginning of the episode, I um, very much appreciate all the effort that you put in. Help us get to a 1,000 subscribers. Massive milestone there. Very proud of ourselves we should be, I think. Anyhow, that's it <laughs> from us, folks. Um, have a great day. We'll see you later. And bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>